Today, we have the biggest upgrade yet to our e-waste gaming PC, and it's gonna include water. Stay tuned. Okay, that probably wasn't a great idea. Oh yeah, that made a mess. The goal from the very beginning with the e-waste gaming PC was to make it a modern gaming PC. It started out as nothing but used e-waste and that's where it got the name, the e-waste gaming PC. And we've upgraded it piece by piece until it's become its final configuration that we currently have now that last week we put in the Lee and Lee 011 dynamic. So I took all the old components and I put them back together to kind of put the PC back in its original shape. Just as an example of where we've came since we've started this system. However, the goal from the very beginning with this system was to start out low and to end at a high-end gaming PC. And we're not quite there yet, but we're getting a lot closer. The next step is to deal with cooling. We've never changed anything in the cooling of the e-waste gaming PC. We've pretty much had it on stock coolers from the very beginning. So today, we're gonna go drastic and we're gonna water cool it. And the way we're gonna do that is going to be using the Corsair Hydro X kit. This kit here is the XH305i RGB and it comes with everything that you need to do a hard tube custom loop in your gaming PC. I searched for a while to try to find a kit similar to this that comes with everything you need. I wanted to find something where you could just buy a kit and not have to go and source other parts from other places because I thought it would be the easiest way for you guys to be able to follow what I'm doing here rather than just piecing the water cooling loop together like I did with my last custom loop. This time we're gonna do everything from the kit and see how it comes out in the end. So you'll actually be able to walk through with me as I install this kit into the e-waste gaming PC. So the first thing I think we need to do is tear this thing open and find out what it comes with. And this is it. This is everything that comes in the kit. I'm going to go over all the pieces that come in the kit as well as what their individual prices will be to kind of give you an idea of how much money you'll save by buying this in a kit form instead of buying them piece by piece. So the first piece is this right here. It's the XC7 CPU block. This supports Intel and AMD processors and it sells on Corsair's website for $79.99. And then the next piece we're gonna look at is the radiator. I've actually already opened up this radiator and flushed it out ahead of time. And I was actually really surprised with how little debris I found inside of this radiator. I'll go ahead and post a picture right here so you can see, but it definitely came out way better than the Alpha Cool radiator I did in my last build. This radiator here sells on Corsair's website for $79.99. It's a 360 millimeter radiator, and it has kind of a fairly low fin density. This is actually going to mean it's not gonna cool as well as a tighter fin density like the Alpha Cool radiator in my last build, but it should produce a lot less noise. And at 360 millimeter for a loop that only has a CPU in it, this should do pretty good. The next part that we're gonna look at is the pump itself. This is a pump reservoir combo. This is the XD5 RGB, and it, it's essentially made out of plastic. And you know, I was a little concerned with this when I first saw it. However, I think we're gonna give it a shot and see how it comes out. It's definitely a stylish pump. It looks great, and it's a pretty decent price. It sells on Corsair's website for $154.99. It has one outlet like most pumps. However, it also has three inlets around the bottom of the pump housing, as well as an inlet on the very top that does come with an anti-siphon tube in it. So if you do want your inlet to come to the top of the reservoir, you should be able to do that. The next thing we're gonna look at is Corsair's fluid itself. This is the XL5 clear fluid and it sells on Corsair's website for $19.99. And we're gonna use this fluid in the build originally, and we may play around with actually throwing some dye in it to make it a different color. We're probably gonna leave this clear at the moment because the point of this build is to build with just the stuff that Corsair actually gave us in the kit, and then 
We'll probably modify it quite a bit after that, but to start out with, we're gonna stick with the clear fluid. The next thing we're looking at is the hard line that comes in this kit. And this hard line is 14 millimeter OD by 10 millimeter ID. And it's actually a pretty decent hard line. However, the only complaint that I have is in order for Corsair to fit this hard line in the box, they had to cut them all in half. If you look at the way Corsair normally ships their hard line kits, they actually don't come in this short length. They actually come in this length right here. And as you can see, it's quite a bit shorter. So this may actually become a problem if you're running long runs inside of your system. However, if you do need some longer runs, this stuff here is actually pretty cheap. It sells for $19.99 at Corsair's website. And to be honest with you, this one right here, I ordered this because I thought I might need some longer runs. And I was kind of a little concerned that it wasn't gonna get to me on time because it got shipped from Taiwan. However, Corsair managed to figure out how to get this package to me in five days from Taiwan when Amazon can't get something to me from 45 minutes away in less than seven to 10 days. So maybe Amazon should get a hold of Corsair and find out about their shipping methods. But I digress. The next thing we're gonna look at here is the fittings that this comes with. Now Corsair has actually teamed up with Bits Power for their fittings. So these fittings are what you would normally see from Bits Power, but some of them have been rebranded for Corsair. And this kit comes with two of the hardline fitting kits. The hardline fitting kits normally come with four fittings, and this one comes with eight. And these sell per kit, they sell on Corsair's website for $26.99. Bits Power has always made really decent fittings, so these should work out really well. And this also comes with two 90 degree rotary fittings as well. These are also Bit Power fittings. And just like the Hardline fittings, these ones sell as a kit of two on Corsair's website for $26.99. Then this kit also comes with a handy little fill bottle. And you know, if you've seen my other videos where I do water cooling, I really love these bottles. They make it really easy to fill a loop. And this bottle, if you wanted to buy it separately from Corsair's website, goes for about three bucks. The next thing that this kit comes with is a Hardline bending kit for the hardline tubing itself. Now, if you wanna actually bend the hardline instead of just making straight shots, which you're gonna to need to do if you're gonna install this kit because unfortunately, it doesn't come with enough fittings to be able to do 90s at all your bends. So this kit right here actually comes with the primary tool that you're gonna to need to bend these and that's gonna be a rubber sleeve to put inside of the hardline. But we'll go into that later when we actually go to bend the hardline itself. This kit also comes with a deburring tool as well as a saw to be able to actually actually cut the hardline tubing and this really neat little vise right here that you can use to actually cut the tubing on your bench without scoring your bench up. And then finally, it also comes with a adapter so you can get really nice bends. This is actually a pretty decent kit and you can buy this kit separately from Corsair's website for $49.99. And the next thing that we're gonna look at is the fans that come in this kit are the Corsair QL120 RGB fans. These sell for a kit of three fans for $139.99. And to be honest with you, I've always thought Corsair's fans were overpriced and I've never used them for that reason. However, since they come in this kit, looks like we're using them now. And then the next thing that comes in this kit is Corsair's Commander Pro. Now with Corsair's normal, with their fans, their CPU block, and their pump, Corsair has a proprietary RGB plug that you're gonna need to plug into a hub that they also include inside of this kit. And then this hub actually connects to the Commander Pro that you can use from software to be able to adjust not only your fan speeds, but also your RGB as well. The Commander Pro sells for $74.99 on Corsair's website, and their RGB fan hub sells for $9.99 if you wanted to buy those separately. So, out of all the parts that come in this kit right here, if you've been adding it up, they come to $713.87. Now, that's a lot of money to water cool a system. However, you can buy the XH305i kit for $549.99. So that's a savings of $163.88 if you buy the kit instead of the pieces individually. And if all the pieces that it comes with seem to fit your needs, then I think it'll be a pretty good buy. But we still have to install it and see how it looks in the system. Now, I also wanna add that this video is not sponsored. I paid cash for all of this stuff right here. This was not sent to me by Corsair. But if Corsair wants to send me some stuff, hey, 
get in touch with me and I'll be happy to do a video about some other stuff as well. So now what we need to do is start installing this into the system itself so we can see how it all comes out. Oh, and I almost forgot. They came with some stickers too. Some stickers that will definitely not be going on my case, but I guess I'll add them to my sticker collection. So what we need to do now is get all of these pieces and put them into the system. However, lately I've been a little unhappy with how my videos have been coming out when I do builds and stuff like this. So I'm gonna try something a little bit different and I'm just gonna do a montage of me putting all this stuff together because honestly, I'm starting to think that maybe you guys don't like to see me just wasting time putting stuff together. So let me know how you like this format and if this is something that you'd like us to do moving forward or do you like the real detailed videos where I go through every process of putting things together, even though sometimes they can be a little boring. Anyway, let's get this thing together. Mess. <laughs> so that was entirely more work than I was expecting. I'm actually kind of glad I did it in a montage because otherwise it could have been a 30, 45 minute video. And honestly, it kind of would have been a little boring. You, all you would have heard is most of it would be me cussing about the Commander Pro wiring up RGB. And you know, I have to say that the best thing that could happen to PC gaming was if RGB died because that's entirely too many wires to have to deal with. But in the meantime, we have what we have. But the kit's actually pretty nice. It really does come with everything that you need in order to install a hardline water cooling kit into your PC. So far, I haven't been lacking a single piece, but there's still one more step that we need to take. We need to actually bend the tubing. But for that, you're gonna have to wait until the next video because I wanna do a dedicated video on just tube bending. So we're gonna cover that next week. But in the meantime, if this was helpful to you, then please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. I post a new video every week. And hey, before you go, check out a couple of these videos. Have a great day.